21st of August, I tell you what the Syrian people say. They have, what, what we have, they kidnapped the children and men from the villages of Latakia and they brought him, them here, put them in one place and used chemical weapons against them. That's what, that's the story that the villagers in these villages know. But why don't you leave it to the UN Commission? To, to, to investigate, to analyze. Mr. Selstrom and Ms. Kane said we need three weeks in order to establish whether chemical weapons have been used or not. I mean, Western countries are always very scientific and they go by the law and they wait for the results and they investigate. Why, when it comes to something concerning our countries, they say it is believed that the Syrian government used chemical weapons? Why don't you wait for the specific scientific results of a neutral UN committee that is investigating. I want an answer to, to this question. Why don't they wait? They claim to want to be targeting weapons exactly the same way they claim to be targeting mass destruction weapons in Iraq. Where is the report on mass destruction weapons in Iraq? It has been sealed in the United Nations for the next 60, 60 years. The, it is not allowed to open the reports that had been concluded from Iraq. They are using the same lies, the same fabrications, the same claims in order to target our country and to target our people. Syria is 6,000 years old. Neither this aggression nor any other aggression will be the end of the story. Our people will be here well and alive and they will defend their country and Syria will be only what the Syrian and the Arab people want it to be, not what Turkey and Qatar and Saudi Arabia. Is this a march for democracy? Is this path the path for democracy, the one that they have been uh, doing for Syria? This is the question I'm, I'm asking. He doesn't care uh, whether he is victorious. What he cares about is that Syria should be victorious, is that the Syrian people should be victorious and that they go back to live in safety and to live as a better than they used to live and to create the democracy they want. We changed the constitution, we conducted elections, we are ready to change the constitution again, we are ready to do elections, we are ready to do referendum, we are ready to do anything that serves the Syrian people. It is the Western power that is leading an aggression and preventing us, of course, spearheaded by Turkey and Saudi Arabia now, where, of course, democracy in Saudi Arabia is very similar to Western democracy. And in Qatar, I mean, you know, you, you are, you are, you are uh, parties with countries who don't have even constitution.